working on the sidelines here, giving us giving us the hard facts. <laughs> but we said that. <laughs> we said, go ahead and start our match here off with Duck Hunt versus Cloud. Again, like you were saying, this is a matchup that we don't see very often. So I'm really excited to see how it's going to end up tonight. Oh. And already coming in hot with the projectiles, man. But Wonder Duck Hunt absorbing his own attacks here. He's 40%. Kind of just like up beat there. Interesting. Like I, maybe he was just trying to get out of the situation. It was kind of an interesting option. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see Rido definitely just try and get these uh, jam setups here. That's definitely his like bread and butter, the main thing he goes off of. Yeah, he wanted that grab, just give him a forward throw, the can would have connected there. Clean, easy percent, and uh, actually does pretty good damage. Yup, and here we go. We have the throwing out the cans and really trying to wait for those projectiles to do his thing before he goes <laughs> in there. Thing. Right? You You're know, so just, like, cute. And, uh, with like the guys, <laughs> she's so cute. I love you. Um, go ahead and see. Dude, <laughs> this can is like adding so much, it's applying so much pressure underneath like these platforms. As Fargo actually looks terrified. He's just it's crazy. I love how his tag is Banjo, like just in spirit oh, of yeah, he's the new release, right? He's ready for it. Wow, and he's doing a really great job right now. Spargo, I don't know, dude. He's like struggling with these cans right now. Ooh. Okay, nice down there coming out. Uh, what is this? What was game? I saying? What was I saying about Destroyer struggling? Destroyer of um, lives, dude. What is happening? I take that back, Eric. I take oh that my God. entirely back. Easy 35%. Neutral B. Throw it out. Dude, no, actually, we just, this is such, this is so interesting because I just never see like cloud play like this anymore. It's actually this making me miss Smash for. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's that can set. They love to just put it like at the very edge of the stage, and then that wants the bait to roll in. They're gonna go for an easy, uh, easy. They're gonna go for an up smash, or they're gonna want you to jump. And it's just a bait. And we're gonna see it happen. He's doing a whole bunch of it! Wow, I can't believe that there's the What is thing. happening? You know, I've been seeing, I've been I'm trying to observe Duck Hunt right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to observe Duck Hunt's combo game right now, and it looks like a lot of them are vertical. So he'll be throwing up, throwing his opponent up, and then finishing those with some up airs as well. This so. match is actually making me shake. What is happening? This is still close. This kid actually is pull off anything. 118 on his last sock. Will Duck Hunt be able to finish it? Uh, throwing out the Frisbees. Yeah, wow, he wanted, really he wanted that off. grab, dude. He wanted that back throw. Oh boy, OK. Honestly, let's nice. see though. Spargo's so good at getting me convinced that it is oh. over, but no, it's never over with him, honestly. Yeah, no, it's really smart for uh, Cloud. Just be throw yeah, he's gonna be throwing out Nair's backers. He does not want that can getting anywhere close to him. He's gonna keep that out of there. Get that out of my face. I don't want it. Look at him just toss it right back at him. The percent. This is actually insane. I know Hold they're on. both in rage mode right now. Oh, up till F. It's anyone's game. Anyone's game right Holy now. Shit. 102, 142. Let's go. Who's going to finish it off? Will it be Cloud? Wow. Edge guard. Okay, that was actually really nice Ooh. going for that can. Okay, oh, a trade? Here. And Ooh, Cloud okay, was wow. able to die first. That's insane. I thought, I swear. Yeah, no, it was the trade, but it was, oh. yeah, that back, yeah, back air. Or, <laughs> yeah, no, dude. If that wasn't the closest percent, game of the night, gone. I don't know what was. Awesome. Both at death percent. And the trade, it was just like whoever hit the edge first. <laughs> Honestly, they were center stage as well. Okay, really quick, hold on. All right, ladies and gents, Eris is going to take a quick break really fast. Thank you for sticking around with us. We're going to be having Pluto take over the mic with me and we'll be commentating this next match here. All right, we're being thrown right into it, man. Hey. All right, Pluto on the mic and Angelife on the other side here. We're starting our second match. We have Rado with 1-0 right now. It was such a close match, the last one. Did you watch it? No, I did not. Oh my goodness. I'm perfect for the job right now. All I know is that Spargo's nuts and he's been popping off this tournament and destroying Seriously. everybody. Seriously. And it's so fun to watch. And he's made like comebacks every set he's won. <gasps> And I'm excited to watch him do it again. Oh my goodness, but I don't know if he can in this matchup with just with what just happened. I saw Rado 
slap him off the stage. Yeah, Rhydos had this weird thing where if he gets a stock lead, he basically never throws it away. He just plays so consistently well after that. So the fact that he got that stock in less than a minute uh, is kind of really telling for how this game is going to go. Like I said, Spargo's had some amazing comebacks, but it's so difficult to do that against Duck Hunt when he can set up all the projectiles and just kind of camp you out and apply a little chip damage. Yeah, certainly in the last match, it seemed like he was really struggling with these cans. Can they just rack up damage? But let's see how he can use that to his advantage in this matchup. We'll go with the forward throw. Okay, and they're one at 112 and 99%, so we just need that finishing move. Cloud is so strong, especially when it comes to edge guarding. I've seen him actually connect that so many times today, and it, it seems so telegraphed, but it's so scary to deal with. The sword is so huge. But unfortunately, Force Bargo not going to work out there, but he doesn't lose uh, state control. And Ooh, and it looks like the upper will do it. What the heck? Was yeah. That, that actually looked true. That's weird. Duck Hunt's not supposed to be able to throw into a true combo. <laughs> oh, so I'm not used to that. <laughs> you know, man, Rado's making me a believer, dude. Exactly. But again, like, this is such a tough spot for Cloud. He doesn't get to hold on to his limit anymore, so he doesn't become, like, a fast character forever like he did in Smash 4, which helped him a lot in this matchup. He could just hold his limit, come faster, get those punishes like you see there. But without having limit at all times, uh, he's susceptible to dying, first of all, which is way worse, and he just can't catch uh, Duck Hunt to punish, like, hands and, and the gun and everything like that. It's really yeah, tough. that's a really great point that you made, that Cloud can't really hold on to his limit as long as he used to. Yep. But it's he has it now. Let's see if he uses it to his advantage right now, because he's at 0%. Yeah. His Duck Hunt is untouched. 19. Oh, actually, that would have been a sick confirm if he got that forward air. He might have been able to fall off stage and get an edge guard. But unfortunately, the, uh, the Blade Beam not going to connect with the forward air. Yeah, this is looking super rough for Spargo. I don't know if this is... Uh, is this a best of five, or is this still best of three? This is still a best of five. Okay, so this is to get into top eight. Yeah. yeah right or oh, wait, no, no, no. We are in top eight. Oh, we are? Yeah, no, this is definitely not done. That would be standing up. So yeah, this is the first uh, game of top eight then. Yes. Okay, so it is best of five. Spargo's still got time. He's got to make a reverse 3-0 on one of the best players in the world, though. That's going to be kind of rough. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the easiest thing in the world, especially against a character like this. It's just so hard to find like matchup experience against wacky characters like Duck Hunt because there are four That's Duck true. Hunt fans in the whole world. There's it only is so true. four people with enough patience and insanity to play this character. But you know, with how fast that Smash Ultimate goes, you know, a reverse 3-0 can happen like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely possible. And like I said, Spargo has made a giant comeback in every set so far. So uh, I'm not going to count him out, but he does look a little lost. He looks more lost in this matchup than he did against Floyd and against Senyu. Because those matchups, while those are amazing players, like it's, it's a normal character, right? Like with normal frame data and like hitboxes. And this character is a lot of setups and gimmicks and patterns that you have to learn in order to deal with. Uh, and you have to know like exactly how to deal with can, you have to know how to deal with clay pigeon. Yeah, which perhaps would you say is just like a lack of matchup experience? Yeah, yeah, it just takes like, you just have to play it enough. And the fact that Raito is one of the only Duck Hunts, or the only Duck Hunt at this level, means yes. that you never actually get that matchup experience that you need in something like this. And you, you're basically playing it as it goes along, and every time you get hit, you're learning. But that's not where you want to be. You want to know all that stuff before you get hit so that you don't get hit by him, obviously. So it, yeah, it gets definitely. really rough. But Mike, uh, Spargo's keeping it a lot closer this time. If he can seal out the first stock and make Raito approach him, he'll be in a much better spot than he's been in the past two games. Yeah, definitely. But these cans are giving a hard time. Look at that. Is that yeah, 167? Oh, wait. That'll do it. Woo! Nice. That was such a great use of it. Yeah, good turnaround. And now he needs any amount of damage. Literally, Extra two, credit. like 2%, like 3% will be big because that will force Raito to at least have to play Fargo's game for like, you know, 30 seconds or something like that. Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. That 21 is huge. He's the fact that he's alive, alive is super huge. Woo! I jinxed it. <laughs> commentator's curse, man. There it is. Is that your first commentator's curse? It is. I believe it is. Welcome. At yeah. least. It's yeah. horrible. And it'll happen all the time, always. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, he lost the lead immediately, too. Raito's so good at racking up percent. And honestly, now it seems like pretty even because they're both yeah. on second stop here. But Raito going in straight for the cans. But again, like, even this 30% difference is so huge for Raito because he can just, he can just back off and throw stuff. And then every time Spargo gets in, he has to make it count way more now because he needs to not only to uh, get damage, but he needs to take the lead as well. Seriously, but when you're up against Cloud, literally one tilt, one forward smash is just, that is 20 extra damage for you to catch up back on. That's 
Mario's conversions have been super on point too, so it could be even more recent than that. And the get up into limit, that was such a good use of it, honestly. Yeah. Because now it's all matched up again, both in rage mode. Ooh, he was able to finish it off in the forward air. Yeah, clips him. And uh, yeah, again, he's got the lead. He just needs a little, <laughs> anything extra that he can get. Like, this, this matchup is all about just taking the hits where you can just get them. X credit, X credit. Oh, and he's got the limit. He's, he loves that fair. I he's swear. gonna get up and limit. Yeah, he burned, oh. the, burned the limit to work. I don't think he'd make it back. That is rough. But 52% lead is the biggest lead he's had in the set, I think. So hopefully, be able to just close it out and we'll go into game four. Raito looking to uh, make it into the winners' finals here, though. Oh my Did you god! See that 69% setup? in one setup. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Let's about. Let's just talk about that setup like, where you had the can coming in from the left side and right. then just back through him right into it, creating this triangle of destruction, man. Yeah. That is exactly what you were talking about when it comes to setups yeah. with this character. And no other duck hunt does it. Like, for some reason, Raito's the only one who can see these things. Oh, will that be the end for oh, him? Honestly, I'm glad that he has a little bit of weight to be as floaty as you think he is. Yeah, that's super rough for Spargo that that didn't, uh, that that didn't seal out the game. Now he has no limit. He has to find like a raw hit of back air. Up air might start killing it at a little bit more percent, but not quite yet. This might be it with the can. Oh, with the oh no, he doesn't even need it. That was so smart. Wow. So, so that down throw forced, uh, forced Spargo to DI in because if he DI'd out, he would be going towards the can and it was a bait. And the DI in yeah. combo into the up air. That was so good. Man, and you know what? He's been getting so many stocks with that tonight. Right. Just like the up throw into like the up air. Yeah, it's insane. 